God does not want the hyped me, but He wants the real me. And the real me is full of come on, you tell. Which is sometimes down, sometimes up, sometimes very zealous in prayer, sometimes no prayer at all. I mean, aren't we like that? So there is a difference between the real me and the hyped me. You know, the more you live in the hyped you, without knowing the real you, you will not be able to get closer to God. We are not asking you to live in your infirmities. But we are not asking you to be blinded toward them. If you know that I live more in my comfort zone, it's okay. I have to confess it to myself if not to anybody else. I have to bring that out and understand that this is my problem area. And then take it to God. I can't just say, no, 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 the joy of the, I mean, the, joy of the Lord is my strength and I know I'm doing better than before. And no, but where are you really standing? Hype is not to be lived in. Alright? You take the reality, bring it to God and then work upon it. Don't just put a banner saying that I can do all things through Christ Jesus when you know that even if given an opportunity, you can't do it. So we must, must understand that maturity is not living in the hype. Maturity is bringing out my weaknesses and working on it.